<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. Very happy to have you here today. My name is Kimmy, welcome to my channel. This is a reading for July the 2nd, but to be clear, they're technically timeless and the energy could extend a week, a week before, a week after, or if you're ever drawn back to this, it could be a reading at that point in time. Just to forewarn you, we have some landscapers working outside. They're very loud. I'm waiting that for them to finish so I could go get my hour in at the pool. <laughs> so we are gonna go ahead and do our reading, but if the lawn equipment starts up outside of my control, my loves. All right, July 2nd, please. What message do you have for the collective for July the 2nd? Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, Two of Swords. Seven of Coins. One more, please. Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, King of Wands. Look! <laughs> we have a pair. All right, so this energy can be the energy of the King of Wands or it could be the energy of the Queen of Wands, but we definitely have a power couple pair at play here. Let's see. Talk to me about this Two of Swords, please. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. We have the devil and the eight of wands. Uh, signs on the board, people, people cards, Aries and Pisces, Pisces and Aquarius, Leo and Cancer, Major Arcana, Capricorn. Additional energy, Libra, Cancer, Taurus. If the sign of yourself or the person that you're dealing with did not show up, don't worry. Anybody can exhibit these traits at any given point in time. But we do have a power couple here. King and Queen of Wands. This is our King and Queen of Action, our King and Queen of Confidence. These are two people who, you know, can command an audience with, you know, their friends or they can walk into a restaurant together and all eyes turn and look at them. There's just this energy of two people that have a very commanding presence, if that makes any sense. Um, it seems to be this dual energy of this commanding presence that is causing some stagnation. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. We'll call it stagnation. It's almost like we have two stubborn people who aren't doing anything. We start out over here with this Four of Cups. Four of Cups is, is sort of apathy. It's almost like this person has so many options, could be the queen or the king, has so many options. It's like, you know, why even bother making the efforts? Other people are chasing after me. I'll just let them chase after me and I won't worry about it. Um, but yeah, there's one person on your mind, either the king or the queen. This could be a combined energy for the two of you, or this could just very simply be the masculine energy since, since the entire spread is clarified by the king of wands. Now you could also be in a same sex relationship, just whichever one is, is expressing more of a masculine energy, it would be related to that. Now, interestingly, we have this queen of wands looking over here at this indecision. This queen of wands is going, okay, well, why is this situation stuck? Why is this situation stagnant? Maybe they're the ones that are saying, you know what, I just don't know what to do about this connection. So I'm just going to sit here and pretend like I don't care. I'm going to pretend like I don't care. I'm going to pretend like, you know, it doesn't matter whether this person reaches out. 
I'm going to pretend like, you know, this isn't really necessarily the person that's like perfect for me because I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to wait it out. It could be the energy of either person. But when we look here at this Two of Swords, a decision has to be made, and I asked to clarify what is the decision on. We have the Devil and the Eight of Wands. The decision could be about communicating with one another. The decision could be about seeing one another, and there's a strong chemistry, physical chemistry between the two of you. Or this could very simply be that somebody is unable to get past this point of, of knowing how to take action because they're they're very much in their head over the communication over what to say perhaps not knowing exactly what to say but having something to say maybe wanting to get it perfect wanting to get it right wanting the delivery to be perfect the delivery to be right so instead of the two of you talking we have this waiting energy this waiting energy, this energy of putting putting time and effort into something, but choosing to just say, okay, I know I put all this time and effort into this, but I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm gonna wait it out and see what happens. Somebody's gonna break because we have this Knight of Cups. One of the two of you is gonna break and open up and communicate. If not, we got somebody else coming in with that Knight of Cups. Talk to me about the Knight of Cups, please. Three of Wands, more waiting. Talk to me about the Knight of Cups. Let's get a different deck. Talk to me about the Knight of Cups, please, for this spread. Fred, illuminate the Knight of Cups for me, please. The Page of Cups could be a water sign. We have Rebirth. Page of Cups, beautiful expression of some sort of, yeah, sort of a fun, flirty message. And then we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's getting an epiphany. Somebody's getting a, an epiphany, figuring out what it is they need to say, what it is that they wish to do. And they're coming forward honestly with the King of Swords. The communication will be honest. It will not be filled with deception. And then we have a very loving offer. Oh, it's the King of Wands. Look, that's who the Knight of, Knight of Cups is. The Knight of Cups is the King of Wands. All right. So this King figures out exactly what it is that they wish to say. See the inspiration, the illumination on the headspace here, right? They know what their truth is. Um, they may be bringing some sort of offer to this other person or they just feel this person is loving, caring. And with the Page of Cups, I see a cute, sweet little message. A kind of flirty message and a rebirth of communication. It looks like the two of you are going to be fine, but somebody's being stubborn. So sit through the stubborn energy on Friday. <laughs> I'm going to go grab some cards for Saturday and Sunday, and we'll see what we get there. But... Uh, Somebody's in a decision phase. What to say? What exactly to say? Um, Spirit is telling me to pull up postcards from Spirit. So give me just one moment while I grab them. For those of you that, I'm, I'm not a fan of these cards, but for those of you that, that like the postcards from the Spirit, from Spirit, that it's a long read. Those of you that don't, believe me, I won't be offended if you would leave now. <laughs> Because look at all the writing on the back of these. There's like all kinds of writing. So 
Let's see, talk to me about the postcards from Spirit. What is it you want the viewers to know, please? What do you want the viewers to know? Tell me when to stop. All right. And this is from your guides, your angels, that sort of thing. And on the front, it says, be fearless, be fearless. It says, dearest you, sometimes it's wonderful to give. That's our, our queen of pentacles, right? Sometimes it's wonder, wonderful to give, but there are times you might find yourself over giving. Don't over give. <laughs> now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you, even if you are more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. You know, that's, that's really, you know, pretty important because you have to be able to receive in order to receive your manifestation. You have to be willing to receive what's coming your way. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some people, maybe you. You do not need a this for that in your exchange with others. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. Then you can give up the old stories that have, have you convinced you have to do everything alone with no help. Let your well be filled. We all love you so, so much. Okay, so that's beautiful. It really equates to this particular card that came out because our queen of pentacles is a giver and she does overgive. It could be male, female, doesn't matter. So spirit is saying for whomever is the intense giver to sit back and allow yourself to receive whatever it is that this king is bringing to you. Be gracious, allow yourself to be vulnerable with this person, page of cups, allow yourself to be vulnerable and see what sort of magic it brings to this beautiful connection between these two souls. All right, my dears, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> Love and light to you, big hug from Kimmy Kiss Kiss. I'll see you again later, bye.